Welcome back to an oldie but a goodie. Today, I'm gonna do my EDC. My EDC consists of what I carry every day. Meaning, guns, knives, chapstick, and lights. Today, I'm not gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Your EDC should consist of everything that you use every day. I'm not talking about the cool guy factor. I'm talking about the stuff you actually use. Cell phone, wallet slash business card, scrungy. Most people will say, what's that? Scrungy, chapstick, lighter, and the light. Now my philosophy, two is one, one is none. Today, I don't think I'm gonna bore you. I'm just gonna get to the nitty gritty. We're gonna go with the weapon first. Safety check. It's a Glock 19. Sporting a Lone Wolf Alpha Barrel. Fluted. Also, Streamlight TRL1. We're also gonna go with the base plate. X and Big Dots. Magwell. Stippling. Simple. Also gonna go with the Bravo Concealment DOS Gen 2 holster. That's the firearm. Next, I'm gonna go with the firepower. I've been kind of iffy on the mags for a while, but since I've used them, dropped them, kicked them around, these are the mag pull polymer mags. Bought a few of them, so I'm rocking one. Grand total, two 17s, two 19s. Besides that, we're gonna go to the sticky part. Tack pin. Also, Kubaton. I did this one of my early videos a long time ago. Uh, I didn't give a whole lot of detail with it, but most people think Kubatons are just, you know, something you use. You see people that do cool stuff or that tactical I use, but I use it to write, uh, check off, yes, no, maybe. And also, I just keep it just in case, you know, I might have a dirty piece of glass around and want to get popped or I want to play. Next, we'll go with the lighter. Now, this lighter, oh, good. I've had this lighter a while. Um, two reasons I use it. One, it's butane. Two, it's cool to me and I like it. And three, I can always tell when the fuel is low by the window. So, it's been around a while. It's been beat up. I've dropped it, kicked it. Stood the test of time. It's a vector, so that's a good lighter. I'm going to talk more about that in the next. Next is a Kershaw. Now with the Kershaw, this is the Kershaw Speed Safe. A lot of people that's in the blades that talk about the steel and what they do and how they don't. I'm into two things. Sharp edge, reliability. That's it. Next, we're going to go with the saw. Had the saw a while. A couple of years and it's held up. Only thing I've had to replace on this knife is probably the clip. That's it. Other than that, it's safe, it's sharp, and it's a primary knife. Once we're cutting packages, and once we're cutting, well, we'll just leave that to the imagination. But, like they say, two is one and one is none. Okay, we're gonna go with what else I care. I know you're waiting for the lights, but most people wanna see the goodies. Rocking this real fancy Timex. Expedition. Now you know what they say about a Timex. Can't knock a classic. Take a licking, keep on ticking. Every six years I'll change the batteries. Like clockwork. Good watch, good to go. And what people don't know about Timex, they're water resistant. Also, paracord bracelet. A lot of people like paracord. Yeah, this that and the other. This bracelet, that bracelet. I'm with two things. I've had this bracelet in and out with the other ones. And out of all the bracelets I've used and the paracord I've used, I've kept this probably because it's, you know, nostalgic. But 
when I make a bracelet, I normally use it. So this is just a good look also to use in case of emergency, but I've never had a real emergency since I've been wearing it. But these two, I frequently throw these away frequently. So I made them. It's a paracord bracelet and a scrunchie. Now, anybody's got a wife or girlfriend or little girls, you know how important this is to have because hair or they might get a boo-boo and you don't have a band-aid and all you have is a handkerchief or something like that. That's basically what a sponge is for. Now, the paracord bracelet, this is like a rope zip tie. You can basically do anything you need to do with this bracelet. Um, I'm going to make another video about how important this bracelet is when you're carrying with your EDC. And that's basically a bracelet. Now this, this brings sexy back. This is that milk and honey. That's what ladies. I'll tell you about that one later too. Okay, enough of the giggles. We're going to go with the light show. Basically, I've been rocking this Phoenix for a while. I've had it uh, probably three, four years. Um, out of all the lights, I think this one is the best EDC light for me. Um, and it's got three modes uh, to where, you know, most people don't use them, but I do. Uh, either you're signaling somebody to back up or signaling somebody to come on. This is just a primary light. Now, when they say two is one, one is none, we're going to go with this one. Oh, let me get back to this one. This is the Phoenix LD12. Good light by Phoenix. I got a lot of Phoenix lights. I'm going to go through and show you my light collection. Next, I'm going to go with the LED lenser. I thought it was laser with this lenser. Go, go figure it. Now, this is a primary light I pull out my pocket all the time. I'm always pulling light in my pocket. But as a defense primary, this is it. Primary, primary, this one. Really bright, um, focus beam, telescoping head. I really like this light. I mean, it's not a cheap light, but think about it. How much is your life worth? So that's what this EDC is about. Okay. We're going to go to the non-essential things. A wallet. Of course, I took my ID out, so I have my business card in there. Uh, most people are pulling out these nice little who that do that wallets, but I keep it simple. I keep it kissed. Um, a wallet is supposed to do two things. Keep my money safe. That's it. Um, business cards, credit cards, and of course, if you're carrying any kind of wallet, this little thing. Multi-tool. Like they say, two is one, one is none. All this stuff is countermeasures. That's it. Half measures at that. The one thing that makes all this stuff essential is training. A lot of training went into what shouldn't I carry? What do I carry? How will I carry Okay, that's all good and dandy. Out of all this stuff, if I had to carry anything, there's only two pieces I would have carried or picked off this table. Most of you be like, oh, gun. The gun, he can go with the gun and the flashlight. Actually, you're wrong. The Brigadier and the light. Two reasons. At any point in your life that you can't avoid and evade without confrontation you've already lost the smart man plays for longevity the fool runs in and die so at the end of the day I don't think any of this stuff on this table would mean a lot if you didn't know how to use it and like they say the pen is mightier than the sword even though it's made out of metal so, last but not least, we're going to get on the rounds. Now, a lot of people make a big deal about, oh, you're 9mm guy. No, no, no. It's, it's your Glock guy, 9mm guy. It really doesn't matter. The situation with ammunition is about capacity. The more rounds you can put down range, the more the target you'll hit, which a lot of people say. I believe in target placement. Now, these are Hornady. And they're 137 grain. And I forgot the brand of this bullet because I threw away the box. But 
I've rotated these around. I think this rotation has been around my second rotation. So my next video, I'll make sure when I do the update, I'll tell you guys what kind of Hornady ammunition that was. But what I mean by half measures, I mean by your EDC kit, you have to think about it like this. Do you really carry this stuff every day? Yes, I do. I carry all of it. Four mags, two 17 rounders, two 15s, two knives, a light, watch, bracelet, chapstick, girly, I know, a pen, a lighter, and a cell phone. That's just basic, guys. I mean, the world we live in today is not about how cool it is. It's about how efficient it works. And I can truly tell you, every piece of kit I have on this EDC, I can really say it works. Um, I couldn't tell you how many times I've needed a, something like a rubber band, but a rubber band really pops. And this scrunchy really, really works. I mean, it's like a piece of paracord rubber in it. So at the end of the day, let's just keep our EDC simple or kiss. And on that note, I'm going to fly you guys. And the quote a YouTuber or the quote a trainer, James Jager, at the end of every YouTube video or any YouTube video, you need to have something that you believe in or stand by. And I put mine on the back of a business card. Uh, and I believe in it so much that... It is a business staple of mine. And I'm going to say it. Live for nothing or die for something. That might be controversial, but at the end of the day, it's mine. Catch you guys later.